So hello guys, welcome to our video for today. And for today's video, we are going to talk about arithmetic sequences. A sequence of numbers such that the difference of any two successive members of the sequence is constant. We call that sequence as an arithmetic sequence. So for example, we have the first five even numbers. Uh, we, we know that in order for us to get the next terms, the pattern goes by adding 2 from the previous term. So from 2 to 4, from 4 to 6, we add 2, from 6 to 8, and so on and so forth. So it's now easy for us to guess the next one. After 10 plus 2, we get a 12. It follow the difference of any two successive members is 2. So let's use D to represent that constant difference. Another example would be the sequence 4, 7, 10, 13, and 16. So next to 16, can easily be we can easily obtain the, the number next to 16 by simply following the pattern plus 3, plus 3, plus 3. So we have 16 plus 3 we get 19 so if we are trying to continue with the sequence 19 plus 3 we get 22 and uh, the pattern is adding a 3 one more example a decreasing numbers from 15 to 11 11 to 7 to 3 to negative 1 so the changes here is from 15 we subtracted 4 to get 11 11 going to 7 we subtract 4 7 going to 3 same pattern we subtract 4 and if we continue subtracting 4 we get the next number which should be oh sorry which should be there's the eraser negative 5 we call this 3 as a as the common difference so in order for us to know if it's a, uh, if the sequence is an arithmetic sequence, they should have a common difference. Okay? So let's talk more about arithmetic sequence. Let's use our second example a while ago. The sequence 4, 7, 10, 13, 16. So we represent the first term as a sub 1. So same goes with the uh, second term. Third a sub 3, fourth term a sub 4, fifth term a sub 5 and so on and so forth until you reach to the term we call a sub n a sub n is the nth term the nth term okay so let's analyze the pattern of this given sequence we already know that this sequence has a common difference of positive 3 in order to get the next term we add 3 and so on and so forth so we can say that a sub 1 is equal to 4 and our common difference is equal to 3 so let's incorporate the common difference to get our a sub 2 a sub 2 is 4 plus 3 so we add a 3 in order for us to get the 7 uh, moving on a sub 3 can be obtained by adding the first 4 plus twice of the 3 so to get the next number we add two threes same uh, let's proceed to a sub 4 a sub 4 is 4 plus 3 of the threes let's continue with 5 4 plus 4 of the threes and uh, we can continue this forever up to um, the last term that you would want to define so a sub 6 let's go up to a sub, a sub 7 or the seventh term so the sixth term is 4 plus 5 times 3 and the seventh term is 4 plus 6 times 3 so if we are going to analyze the pattern this one coming from the first three and then the second three was multiplied twice in order for us to guess the third to get the third term to get the fourth term we multiply the common difference three times to get the fifth term we multiply the common difference four times 
and so on and so forth so we can now conclude that in order for us to get the nth term or the last term we just have to write down our first term which is the 4 plus and consider this 6 coming from 7 we have n the last term minus 1 or as you say the position of the last term times the common difference d so the general pattern or the general rule we can use in order for us to deal with arithmetic sequence can be noted by this one oops this one a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference d wherein um, we say that a sub n is our n term a sub 1 is our first term and d is our common difference okay let's have examples on how to use this formula okay so on given the sequence 4 7 10 13 and 10 what if you are asked to find a sub 10 or the tenth term so basically some of us will just simply oh the pattern here is plus 3 plus 3 and so on and so forth so from 16 I just have to add plus 3 to get 19 another plus 3 to get 22 so that's the seventh term continue with this one plus 3 is 25 28 and then 31 so this is now our tenth term all right so, but how do we apply the formula so let's list down important um uh, let's list down important terms or values from the given sequence so we know that a sub 1 is equal to 4 the common difference is actually equal to 3 and that's good enough for us to find the 10th term using the formula so in finding the 10th term we have to um to oh the formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times the common difference d so a sub n we are looking for the 10th term so that's a sub 10 is equal to a sub 1 which is equal to 4 so that's 4 plus whatever the n here is also our n on its uh, n inside that parenthesis so we have 10 minus 1 and times our common difference of 3 continue with our solution that's 4 plus 9 times 3 and uh, 4 plus 9 times 3 9 times 3 is 27 and 4 plus 27 is equal to 31 so they have the same answer so the question is why do we need to use the formula we can just simply count and add continuously plus 3 up until we reach a certain term what if you are asked to find the 32nd term the 100th, the 50th, 50th term, it, you can get the answer, but you will it will take too much time. So for an easy way to find the nth term of an arithmetic sequence, we apply the formula. So if you're looking for the 32nd term, we are looking for a 32nd or a subscript 32nd. Same given, our first term is 4, so that's 4 plus now it's 32 minus 1 times the common difference 3 uh, one important matter here is especially if you're using your calculator you must always focus with the parentheses uh, I've used the parentheses as well so in this case we can get 4 plus 31 times 3 and uh, we are applying the rule of gemdas or mdas 31 times 3 gives us a 90, 93 plus 4 gives us a 97. So the 32nd term is 97. Okay, so I hope you did learn something from today's video. Uh, but before ending this video, I would like to challenge the viewers. Use the same formula or use the same given rather and find the 180th 
term. Alright, the 180th term. Put your answers in the comments down below. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.